What's going on everyone? My name is Dominic Delgado. Welcome back to the channel and to another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about bio nanogenomics, ticker symbol BNGO. Let's talk about it. This company is non-stop giving us amazing news. So some things I wanted to talk about today was their variation that they are able to find in many population groups. On top of that, the specific genes they are able to locate to show exactly what's going on with the diseases that are occurring. Unusual options plays we have seen in the short and long term. On top of that, price predictions with analysts upgrading their price and their newly released webinar they will be participating in in the next couple of weeks. I feel like I talk about this stock at least once a week. Regardless of what's going on in the market right now, this is an absolute steal. I cannot emphasize this enough. Anything that is below $10 for bio nanogenomics is a great opportunity to get at. We have seen for the past week or two, we were at $15.57 down at one point. We have dropped down to the $9.78 as of right now. Hey, that's pretty good. With the overall market getting absolutely dumped on in the past week, this is no different for BNGO. So a quick rundown with the chart, we were sitting at $13.29 as of Monday. In my last video, if you guys didn't see that, I'll go ahead and leave an annotation on the top talking about it as well, what Sapphire does. So at one point in this week, we dropped down all the way to the $8.71. If you were able to swoop it up right here, kudos to you, man. This is absolutely insane. I personally have bought in this stock a couple months back and has slowly been adding to my position. My average price is around $7.33. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to add more to my position, but if you are a new time buyer to the stock, I highly recommend buying the stock now. Anything below $10 is a great price. Looking at the first article, BioNano's Sapphire data prove essential in creating the most comprehensive, ethnically diverse collection of genome variation ever completed. So we have seen BioNanogenomics announce the publication in the science of study by the human genome structural variation that used a combination of advanced sequencing and optical genome mapping with Sapphire to assemble the high resolution and structural accuracy 64 haplotype resolved human genomes from 32 individuals representing 25 different populations. This builds on the original human genome project to better capture genetic diversity by cataloging both single nucleotide variations and structural variations from each individual reference quality genome assembly compared to the standard human genome reference. So what this is essentially saying is with the 32 people they tested with the Sapphire machine, of those 25 were different populations. So regardless of where the person came from, their background, their ethnicity, their Sapphire machine was specifically able to point out either a single strand or a duo and see exactly what's triggering these diseases in these people. So the resulting assemblies and catalog of the SNVS and SVZs can serve as a diversity panel that researchers and clinicals can use to accelerate the discovery of new therapeutic targets and pathogenic genetic variations by making it easier and faster to filter out variations that is representative of population diversity. So what we tend to see is people's genes are almost identically the same in most regards. This shows that out of the 32 people that were tested, the variation of the population differed to 25 different groups. And with each group, Sapphire was able to specifically identify what genes were being affected by the diseases. This is a huge player because what we're able to do now with the Sapphire machine is point out specific diseases in people. And from there, this can help us determine what therapeutic targets we need to do. Looking at an example they recently just did as of today, a PhD professor presented on a case with two pregnancies showing severe brain malformations in the fetuses. Exome sequencing found a variant inherited from the father and found a tandem duplication inherited from the mother. With bio nanogenomic sapphire machine, we are able to point out before the baby's ever even born if there will be any problems in the future, taking a step to find exactly what's wrong with the baby's genes. If we are able to specifically go down to a gene and find a specific cure, 
we're able to fix this baby's genes before it's ever born, meaning we can save millions of lives before they're ever even born. Some future things we can see with bionanogenomic is if they are to specifically point out these genes, this can be almost the first step to curing cancer. Imagine going to the doctors and asking for a reading of your genes every year, like a normal checkup, and then find out that you have a gene in your body saying you're gonna have cancer. If we're able to specifically point that out before you get it, we could take countermeasures to prevent you from getting it or drastically slowing down the process of cancer spreading. A major catalyst bionanogenomics has coming up is going to be on March 1st through March 3rd, which is next week, and they will be sponsoring the AGB21. And the main interview we're gonna be looking out for is the CEO, Eric Hallman, and CMO, Alka Chambay. Taking a look at what the analysts are saying on Wall Street, we are sitting around the $9.80 right now. There are no sell analysts on this. There's one hold and three strong buys wow. at a high of $15. So if you're to buy in right now at $9.80, regardless of what price you bought in below $10, you will be making money. With three strong buys going to $15, the upside is exponential. My personal belief is I do see bionanogenomics going to $17 in the short term, one to two months. And with them having predictions this high, this goes to show the belief they have in the company. So taking a look over at the options plays, we do have the March 19th closing up in 21 days. And as we do see, 7,414 people are holding the $10 strike call and a total of 1,950 of those were traded today. These are all newly bought contracts. As we did see the major dip, people are coming in and swooping up these contracts with a major discounted price. We can also see the $11 strike call is at 5,000, 6,000 at the 12, 5,000 at the 13, another 6,000 at 14, and so on and so forth. Going over to the longer term strike calls, we can look at the January 21st, 2022. There are 11,671 options being played for the $15 call and almost 4,000 of those were traded today. When your expectations are high for the company in the long term and you see a great opportunity to buy in around this $9.74 range, you're buying them at a significant discount as if you were compared to if you would have bought them just a couple of weeks ago. Now before I wrap it up, if you guys can go down and leave me a comment below if you're going to be playing in these options. If so, what's your strike price and what are your days for expiration? And also let me know if you think this is a first step of fighting cancer. That's all I've got for you guys in today's video. If you'd enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.